You won't believe how expensive these tires are. This is original equipment for Skag lawnmower, okay? These are solid rubber, no inner tube. And they got that little grease point there. Well, anyway, uh, they were for the pair. 184 bucks and 47 cents. That's right, from um, Wake Outdoor and Equipment, okay? Now, I went everywhere. <laughs> I went to Tractor Supply. I went to Ag Supply. I went to Ronnie White's Tire. I went everywhere. And here, here's the story. Believe it or not, everybody was the same price except for one major exception. Well, actually, two exceptions. One, all theirs were inner tube, okay? This is run flat, so these are solid rubber. But they still wanted, what is it, almost uh, 80 85 to $90 a piece for these. Now, just the tire alone, and the reason why is this tire is shot. It's got a big, big blowout in the sidewall. Okay, so cut it. And these, believe it or not, these tires are seven years old. Okay. And I've had multiple issues with them going flat all the time. Now, I did get some freebies. Oh, yeah. That's a height gauge right there and a little keychain thing. But another thing, this is original equipment. Okay, this is by Skag, for Skag. And this is the upgraded version of this tire here. This is old, <laughs> 10 years old. Just like my machine. It's 10 years old. And it's due. So I figured, go ahead and uh, put original equipment back on it. And solid rubber tires. And I'll never have to deal with this issue of flat tires ever again. Except <laughs> for the rears. And that's another, another whole ball game. Because I got <laughs> two backups. This one here just needs an inner tube. That's the original. Let's tell by the orange, the orange rim. And this was a standby from Ag Supply. Or no, excuse me, this was from Tractor Supply. Okay? So I got this one, already put an inner tube in it, and that cost me $40. $40 for an inner tube. Man, <laughs> that 10-year-old lawnmower was 700 hours on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, <laughs> I didn't realize how expensive these tires really are. So, uh, I had a long day yesterday. I am actually, I'm really kind of tired. I'm beat up. I drove six hours yesterday uh, because, guess what? You guessed it, boys and girls. The excavator is gone. It's sold. That's right. So now this is going to turn into my little shop. Oh, wow. Got that one all cleaned up. And I freed up a bunch of parking because this was ultimately what I wanted to do in here too. Bam. Bam. There you go. It's got its new parking space, real tree. Now you can see the deer horns. The deer horns. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is my uh, new VIP parking for the UT real tree 400. Oh boy. And I did find I did find more of this, but oh, was it expensive? Oh God. They wanted $1.75 a board foot, and he had plenty of it. So it would cost a couple hundred to three hundred more dollars to button this place up. And I didn't know if I wanted to just blow that because, because what, I, what I'm doing is one of my uh, uh, people, on, oh, the, one of you guys, on the channel said, Tom, and, and you hit it right on the damn nail too. 
why don't you go ahead, yeah, like you said, sell the, sell the excavator and use that money to restore the boat because ultimately that's what I want to do. I'm not in the excavation business. This place is built out, so there's nothing else to do really. A lot of minor things, but, you know, nothing that I can't handle without a piece of machinery. So that was the mentality, and I agree. That was exactly what I was thinking all along. Uh, free up a bunch of money. And let me, let me tell you something. I, I bought the machine and used it for four years, five years, and I spent a bunch of money on it to fix it and stuff. But what I sold it for uh, is right, right under $20,000. I got all my money out of it, plus I made nine grand from the work it did over the years. So that machine was a testament of how owning some equipment, using it for a long period of time, and the value increased on it. So that was pretty cool. In other words, I sold it for a whole bunch more than what I bought it for, and including the repairs. So that's cool. All right, let's, let's put some tires on. Let's put some tires on. There we go. I got it on a, I got it on my mini tripod, so just bear with me. Thanks. First off, let's find out if it's going to even work. I had them pre-grease pre it already, so that's cool. And hopefully I don't need any washers because being this is original equipment, it already has its washers here, see? So let's do this. Let's see if it works. All right, looks like it's gonna work, so I gotta lift this up. Let's see if I can lift it up manually here. Yeah, I'm gonna need some sort of jack or a piece of wood or something like that. Bear with me. Let's, uh, Let's see what we can find. And there's a, a four by six. There we go. Let's grab this. I hope you don't mind. This is gonna be a long video. <laughs> this today is uh, it's raining, and uh, anyway, uh, yeah. Let's get down to it. All right, let's put that there. I know how you guys like action. Action movies. Right? Action. Let's grab both of these. Hope everybody's doing good today. Yep. Okay. Let's get some more. There's another one. It's making me dizzy. It's making me dizzy <laughs> going back and forth. Okay, we still need another one. All right, I got more wood. That's the one thing I got no problem with. I got plenty of lumber here. <laughs> okay, let's do this. In fact, that's a good piece right there. That raised it up in the air. Bingo. 
Eh, this tripod's gonna fall. There we go. Perfect. And let's see if we need a washer. We do. Let's see. I've got one. One more here. That should work. Get that gap a little bit closer together. Let's see. See how we're gonna do how we're gonna finesse this. Come here. It's not cooperating. I'm going to cooperate. There we go. That took a little doing. There we got our nut. All right. Now we need some wrenches. bag of stuff. This should be enough. Actually, that's too tight. Damn. Tire doesn't roll. Might have to take that washer out. Or just back this off a little bit. Because these don't have to be tight. In fact, there it is. That's all you got to do with it. Now you got to see if you got any sideways wiggle. Okay, then you... T well, that's in the, actually in the shaft diameter. Okay. Now... There is a barrel pin for these, but I don't think you're supposed to use this barrel pin on these factory. In fact, we can look at that. Yeah, see, these are not meant to come out. And this barrel pin was for the old one. But let me, let's, uh, let's find out. Because we don't want to make a mistake here. Let's see if this. Nope, this doesn't come out. See, this is sealed. That's been pressed in there. Okay, so there's no way. So this little bit of up and down. That's why you want to have it heavily greased, but I don't think it's going to wear because it's sitting really on this collar in here. Okay, so we're not going to worry about the barrel pin trying to put that in there. At least I don't think so. Okay, but anyway. All right, I got my hands nice and greasy, but that is really uh, what's going on here. Is that... uh? I freed up the money 
Because when it comes to equipment, over the years, you've seen all the stuff I've owned from the dump truck to the Kubota tractor, all the implements, uh, just the old bulldozer, uh, the draught. Every Everything has its cycle of use as far as I'm concerned. Sometimes I win, sometimes I lose when it comes to equipment. Not always, but in the case of the excavator, as far as I can see, the way the economy is and everything like that, it's not that I needed the cash, but cash is always going to be king. It's just the way it is in life. So what I ended up doing is deciding that since I'd rather have the boat, because that's for my entertainment, I need stuff to entertain me, not stuff to sit around and wait for something to happen, like a job popping up. So that amount of money, which like I said, it was pretty substantial, right under $20,000, uh, I just reinvested. So I just put everything in, in my money market right now that's earning 5.25. You know, so that money will now make me money. Instead of just sitting there, one day going to cost me more money. So that's really what I was thinking. Plus two, uh, I think the boat goes in in about two weeks maybe maybe three weeks, and again, that's going to be an unknown, that cost, okay? That's just going to be an unknown. So until I figure out what I'm going to do there, i got to figure this out. So there you go. I hope everybody, like I said, is having a great, blessed day. It's 72 degrees. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It rained all morning, and now it's low humidity. Just a perfect, perfect day. To sit up here and get a few projects done now that I got one piece of equipment out of the way and on to the next project. So until then, boys and girls, like, share, subscribe. I love you all. Thank you very much for tuning into my channel. And you know me, I'm Tom. Out of here. Hasta la vista.